So we talk about demand and we talk about supply. So when we put these two graphs on the same, sorry, these two curves on the same graph, what happens is that there's going to be an intersection. But the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity, the ending point, doesn't just happen because the two lines intersect. No, that is not a reason. That's just a graphical phenomenon. So what actually happens in the background is this. Now, if we were to choose a price that is not the equilibrium price, for example, a price that's higher than the equilibrium price, then what happens? Well, you see from the graph that the quantity supply is higher than the quantity demanded. That means, for example, your suppliers are willing to supply 500 units of a good, but your consumers are willing, only willing and able to buy 300 units at that price. So what happens is that only 300 units get sold and there's a surplus of 200 units. So the producers think, hmm, maybe I should not produce that many and maybe I should lower the price. So instead, they lower to 400. So at 400, that is when the quantity demanded equals to the quantity supplied. So when the price is higher than the equilibrium price, what happens is that the suppliers actually lower the price and eventually, consumers will start consuming more, the quantity demand increases, and that's what happens. If I choose a price that is lower than the equilibrium price, what happens is that the quantity demand will be higher than the quantity supplied because your producers, they're not willing to produce that much more because the price is too low. But the consumers, they want to consume a lot more. So eventually, your producers get a signal and they say, we will increase the price and we will increase the quantity produced. At the same time, the consumers, they will bid up the price because all of them will be competing to get the products and eventually the price increases and they settle at the equilibrium quantity and the price.